Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's make a start. I already have my object loaded with a principal shader added to it. I'm in the shading tab and I've got viewport shading enabled. The first thing that I'm going to do is make some changes to this principal shader. I'm going to drop pretty much everything to zero other than the sheen tint. And then I'm gonna increase the transmission to one. And you can already see that applies a very basic um, glass shading type thing to it and the index of refraction I'm changing to 1.47 next I need to add a color ramp so press shift a and search for a color ramp chuck that in here and connect it up to the principal shader we're going to change the color mode to HSL and this mode to far this first color I'm changing to red, basic red, full on red. So saturation one, value one, hue zero. The second color, I'm going to increase the saturation and value again to one, and then change the hue to 0.99. This then basically gives us an entire rainbow blend across all of that uh, between those two colors. Next, I need to add a noise texture that goes in next to the color ramp. And the color from that goes into the factor of the color ramp. And you can already see it's kind of having an effect. Changing the scale to 1.5, detail to 10, roughness to zero and distortion to one. I'm going to add a second noise texture Plug the color from that into the vector of the noise texture. Change the scale to one, detail to 15, roughness to zero and distortion to two. I need to add a mapping and texture coordinate uh, pair of nodes to that. So we can press control T for that. Alternatively, you can use shift A and search for those individually. I'm going to connect the object to the vector. Now I need to search for and add a second principled shader. And the changes that I'm going to make here are that I'm going to drop everything again to zero other than the sheen tint and the transmission which is going all the way up to one and the index for refraction is 1.47. Now we're not gonna connect a principled shader to a principled shader. What we are gonna do is select the first shader and the second shader by holding shift and then clicking and then press control zero to get a mix shader to bring those two together. And we're going to change the setting on that to 0.35. Now then, I'm going to change a couple of things. I'm using the Cycles Render Engine and the GPU Complete. Light Paths I'm going to increase and I'm going to multiply that by three. So we've got 18 and I'm gonna do the same to the Diffuse, the Glossy, the Transmission and the Transparent. So basically you should have 18 for total, diffuse, glossy and transmission are 12 and the transparent is 12. And then on the sampling, I'm going to increase it so that I've got 2048 samples. Uh, so I'll send that to render and we can take a look. Okay. 
and there we have our decorative glass shader. I hope you've enjoyed this video and will give it a thumbs up before you leave uh, and obviously subscribe for future videos. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Thank <music> you.